Well, I broke and I actually had to reshoot the uh, Dream Control video part two. And surprisingly, this is that. The picture we're looking at is the quarrel between Titania and Oberon. And Puck is, uh, is the manipulator behind this. Um, it is a key component in the dream ceremony that I went through, the Dreamwalker initiation, that we had to create a European style story to go along with it uh, because me and this friend of mine who got put through it are not Chiricahua and it fit amazingly well. So I'm not going to go into details of why the other video just wouldn't load. Um, it, there, well maybe I'll go into some detail. Uh, there, there was um, an issue um, and it kept popping up in the video and uh, there was a face that kept popping up that I wasn't seeing but when it was pointed out it was very obvious and uh, a lot of exorcism and cleansing of our area uh, had to be done and there's a definite uh, feel that uh, something has been removed and it's 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 something that'll just happen you know um, an entity somewhere will just sort of pop in and uh, get involved in something and because of the subject matter uh, I can see where they wouldn't want you to have this type of information because getting control of your dreams is the first step to really truly setting yourself free because the world really is a manifestation of what your dream time and your astral world create so what's in the astral world for you is what's going to create upon itself here on the physical plane if you look at the old magicians and the real magus the earth was their altar was my altar is my altar is your altar what you want manifests upon the physical world but you have to do the work of a magician you have to know what the powers of air are the powers of fire the powers of water and what earth does what earth can do Without it, you're just playing dress up and speaking some funny sounding words and it's all a bizarre reality that borderlines on a delusion. Unless you're actually manifesting, then you're doing nothing. So your dream time is the great backdrop which all things are put together and then formulated into reality. The first step to getting a handle on your dream time is to begin to keep a dream journal. Without a dream journal, nothing's gonna make sense because you need to be able to track your dreams. You need to be able to say, you know, a year ago, this is what I was dreaming about. A year ago, this was a major theme that kept popping up in all my dreams. And even though you may not be able to see it, you know, for a month, two months, three months, if you have, you know, six, seven months of, of dreams to look at, then you can begin to see a pattern. You have to write down your dreams. Don't make shit up. Just write them down as they happen. Also, write things as they are happening, not as if it was past tense. So, if you were in a building with an old woman, write, I am in a building with an old woman. She is sitting at a chair, and she is holding a goldfish in her hand. Don't write, I was in a building. There was an old woman. She had a goldfish in her hand. Don't write past tense. Write as it is happening. This will help your recall. Also, like I said, don't fill in gaps. You tend to make things up and you can tend to corrupt what the dream means. Also, don't turn to, to dream books. 
they're generally worthless and they have a manipulated psychological symbolism that is purposely tainted to make you sound crazy so they can put you on drugs. Second, don't share your dreams with a ton of people. The majority of people are not qualified to tell you what your dreams mean. And the last thing you need is a bunch of worthless information from people with less than, you know, developed dream skills themselves telling you what things mean. You just don't need it. Don't deal with it. Second is to realize when you are dreaming in a dream. This is the lucid dream. This is when dreams become more than just a dream. This is when you begin to actively engage in your dreams and you begin to interact with things and with entities and with fragments of your psyche of your psyche as well as societal psyche and you can begin to change what you don't like or you can begin to become something more which you are a vast vast more potential than than you realize you just have to become that potential so you need to begin to find ways to realize that you're dreaming now one of one of the best ways is to find your hands in a dream now throughout your waking day as you're going about whatever you're doing the one thing you're going to see is your hands so every time that you see them make a mental note to go am I dreaming and then you know you won't do it every time but as you remember to do it am I dreaming it you know you don't have to sit there and be profound about it but just notice it and then your subconscious will begin over time to create a habit of when you see your hands it will ask yourself am I dreaming what this will do is when you are in the dream your subconscious mind will make the connection am I dreaming I just saw my hands I am dreaming ah then the kickover will happen once you realize that you're dreaming you need to remain calm you have to accept that you're dreaming and not get overly excited because your emotions are now very very powerful because you have stepped into the astral realm a lucid dream is like walking along the shore your feet are in the ocean's water so if the sand is the dream the ocean is the astral world the lucid dream is walking barefoot in the tide once you become lucid you have the ability to go back into your uh, less than participant Terry dream state or you can ver venture out further into the astral oceans and become very engaged in your dreams at this point I would suggest that you really start to look over your physical body or I'm sorry your astral or dream body physical body if you can but that'll come later begin to look at your dream body see what it looks like begin to get a good sense of who you are but don't be horrified by what you see because most times the astral body and the dream body are very undeveloped and sometimes even malformed or disformed so don't be shocked if you see things that you don't like that's just something you have to do you have to accept it the more aware of your dream body that you are the stronger and more like you it will look and then later the more like you want it to look and that will manifest into your physical reality as your physical body you need to become aware that you're dreaming because what will happen is as you are aware here's the big secret as you're aware that you're dreaming when you're dreaming you will become aware of your physical life and you will become aware that your physical life is a type of dream nothing is as it should be because there is no should you are living in someone else's manipulated reality and once you figure that out and once you go you know what the more I manipulate my astral world into the world I want the more my physical world will become what I want the more you can do vice versa the more your physical world becomes what you want the greater control you have in the astral world it plays into itself the more control you have in each areas 
it feeds into itself. You are powerful in the astral world, you become powerful in the physical world. You become powerful in the physical world, you become power in the astral world. There is no separation between those facts. I want you to get that and understand that. Begin practicing. Read our blog. There's much more in there, but I wanted to get that information out and make this video part two. I wish you guys well. Get out there, get working, get control.